Okay, we're going to do a proper pressure test of a mini split system. All the refrigerant leaked out, so there's a, there was a leak, and the leak now got repaired, and uh, it's been it's been fixed now. So now we want to do a pressure test before we do anything else. So the first thing we're going to do is pressure test the system to make sure it holds pressure. Okay, we don't want to uh, have another leak and have it lose all our refrigerant again. So we want to pressure test it. To do it properly, you want to have two valve core removal tools. Okay, uh, Apion makes wonderful tools. There are a couple other companies that do also, but this one, these are the ones I have, and these are the ones I, I think you should get. Uh, so you have the, on the bottom, the pink one, it's 5 16 valve stem removal tool, and on top, a quarter inch, and that one leads to my uh yellow jacket pressure gauge okay and so the first thing you do though is you have your 5 16 one because we have 5 16 coming out of uh out of this system out of our mini split okay it's a 5 16 thread and a uh, quarter inch one will not fit there so if you only have these black ones they're quarter inch they don't fit there you need the 5 16 one and it comes to quarter inch here okay so it has a 5 16 adapter on it uh, your normal little adapter that you got to install your system might look like that, but that thing isn't going to help you in our pressure test. So to have a good proper pressure test, you want to get a valve stem removal tool. Apion makes wonderful ones, and those are them right there. Then you'll go up to a yellow jacket uh, pressure gauge. Now there are other brands, you know, you can get those. This, this, these things here are the least expensive things I found to do a perfect job. So they're they're you know they're not very expensive and they, it turns out absolutely perfect so apion uh, valve stem removal tools two of them five sixteenths and quarter inch i'll put links down below um and then also a yellow jacket uh pressure gauge uh worked absolutely perfect um right now you can see that i'm sitting here at about 450 pounds 475 pounds whatever uh it's perfect it's been like this for 48 hours okay it had not moved all right so that's the ticket you want to have that now to get to this point uh so now you can see right here this is the whole thing there's no hoses there's no nothing there's my whole system right here okay and uh it's been checked so for sure there's nothing leaking of course on these joints it's held for 48 hours at 450 pounds okay and there's no leakage and so you these valve stem removal tools do not leak Okay, if you got one that leaks, there's a problem. I, I, you're, not, you're only supposed to be using hand tight. When you're not supposed to use a wrench on them ever. And it keeps the O-rings perfect. You add a little bit of nylog every time you use any system. Just put a little nylog on it and you're golden. I mean, the thing just lasts uh, apparently forever. I did buy a couple of kits to replace O-rings and stuff like that, but I never had to use them. Okay, anyway, so these things are perfect. Uh, they don't leak and you can trust them so as you can see well trusted 450 pounds or whatever it is um for 48 hours okay so that didn't leak now to get to this point i'm going to show you the how to hook up the uh, nitrogen tank just to get to the point where we're at now again no hoses no nothing just sitting there being tested under pressure okay Okay, you'll go down and pick up a nitrogen bottle. If you don't have one, go down to your local gas supply and rent one, uh, and you can just bring it back. And uh, if you have to buy it, it's 200 bucks um, to, to buy a small one, and uh, it's yours to keep. Uh, you know, so uh, it's nice to have them. Uh, if you can go find one, great, but you need to get a nitrogen bottle. That's number one. However you get one, you get one. I'm just telling you, one of the ways is down to your local welding store, uh, gas supply stores, air gas or industrial supply or a bunch of industrial sources, different places. So uh, anyway, so getting a, a, a nitrogen bottle. Now you want to make a, a nitrogen test. You're going to fill this system up with nitrogen. Okay, we're going to, uh, we're going to go ahead and go 450 pounds. And to do that, you have a nitrogen bottle, you have a nitrogen gauge. Okay, this is a gauge only like 40 bucks at uh, Amazon. And uh, so what you do to use it, you make sure this is backed off all the way so it's just really loose. Okay, it's not have no pressure on it. And then you once you hook it up, again, you have to use uh, crescent wrench. Don't use pliers. 
and uh, you don't want to score this up, just install it. And then you, you crank it, you turn it on, okay? And it's, it's now full, it's whatever, it's full of pressure, okay? That's the, that's the bottle pressure on this side here. And here there's no pressure because you haven't turned this knob yet. And even turning it a little bit doesn't do anything yet. So what I want to do is I want to just give it a little bit of air to start with. I just want to give it a little bit of air, and that's going to fill up. Uh, well, let me go ahead and just pull this off real quick. That's going to, I have a little on and off valve here on the end of my hose. And uh, what I want to do is I got it turned off. So I turn it up a little bit. Okay, as you can see a little bit there. Just crank it a little bit. And then what I want to do is get the air out of here. You know, I'm not trying to put a bunch of air into my system. I just want to fill it with nitrogen. So I got rid of the air. Then I come back over here and install it onto my uh, valve core removal tool. Okay. And uh, then what we're going to do is even then I don't want to push any air into this system. So I, I just hook it up. And then I'm going to turn it on, okay. Um, if you can... Okay, a little better view of the nitrogen tank uh, valves. Okay, so it looks just like that. There's nothing to be scared of. It's just nitrogen inside of a tank, and you're controlling all the pressure with that valve right there. Okay, so you just got to turn it up a little bit right now, and you come over here and you hooked it up to your valve core removal tool. Again, that system is just perfect for this. Uh, it's all totally contained. And so we're going to fill it up with things. So right now it's already set up. So it's just a matter of turning this lever and shooting it in. And you'll open this up, make it straight in line, and it'll shoot the uh, pressure into the system. I already have uh, 450 pounds in there for 48 hours. Okay, so I know for sure there's nothing leaking on this thing. It's been exactly there for 48 hours. And this system doesn't leak at all. That's what's nice about the system. So. Uh, right now, just to fill up the tank, so you'll just open it up, and it'll shoot straight in. Again, this will be open, so it'll go all in. As soon as you're done filling it up with whatever pressure you want, which is, uh, see, I'm going with 450 because it says here, my high side is 550 pounds, the low side 340. So I want, I want to have, you know, f close to 500 pounds in here to pressure test this thing. That's how much, that's how much it is when it's on heat mode, okay? It's going to be that high. And so I want it that high to test. And this system here holds that pressure, okay, without hoses, without anything. So that's just a system. Now we've got to get the hose to get, the, to get it filled up, and that's what this is all about. So you open it up, shoot it into the system, and once it's in, you lock it up right there, and then you can take off your uh, hose because it doesn't do anything. It's not, it's not doing anything anymore. This system here, you come over here, you turn this off, and uh, now that's it. This thing's done. You want to do, You always want to release this pressure. Just release it until it's gone, and then you're done. Uh, that system's now closed off. It can't hurt nobody. It's all fine. There's no hose, and now the system is just waiting. Okay, for as long as you want to do a test. Okay, now I'm gonna, uh, because this thing leaked. Uh, you know, even though it's been 48 hours with absolutely zero movement, you know, I, I'm not in any time crunch. I'm giving it another day, so it's going to be. A full 72 hours uh, before I release the refrigerant into the system. I just want to absolutely double check because it leaked, and I never did find the leak. It turned. I got a new line set because I think it was the line set. I never found any leaks in the ODU. I never found any leaks in the IDU, and so I'm assuming it was the line set, and it had a hole somewhere in the midst of all that, you know, in the old line set somewhere because I never found oil. I never found nothing, but it completely leaked out. So because of that, I wanted to make sure it's not some pinhole in my ODU or IDU or somewhere else. And this is how I'm, I'm making sure there's no pinhole because it's now at that pressure for 48 hours now. And it's going to be 72 when I'm done. And if it stays there without zero movement, then that means there's no leaks. It was definitely the line set. Okay. All right. So that's how you do a pressure test for your entire system. If your uh, system leaked. You want to make sure you've found the leak and, and, and or you've done what you need to do like I have. I replaced the line set. So I, 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 now, I never did find the leak. So at least I know now there is no leak. Okay, that's what you're going to need to do to, to assure yourself yeah, if you don't know where the leak is, then to assure yourself that there is no leak before you add refrigerant back into your system.